And now for today's Bible question. Today we saw how Jesus entered into Jerusalem triumphantly like a king, but was angry when he saw the corruption of religion that had turned it into a money-making business. We also learned about the power of prayer and how those who questioned Jesus' authority were caught in their own trap. Someone might ask the question, what should the collected offerings of the church be used for? It is rather clear to everyone who attends church that churches are fond of collecting money. But what is all that money being used for? The people who contribute generously to the church ought to know how the money they give is being spent. If any church is not completely transparent with their accounting and expenditures, you have every right to question the sincerity of those in charge of the finances. The Bible would teach us to handle money with the greatest of integrity, so as not to compromise the power of the gospel. We do not want anyone to accuse the church of having the wrong motives when it comes to handling money. So it is important for a church to disclose both its income and expenditures to all those who are making contributions. But what should the church use money for? Is it for bigger and more beautiful buildings in which to worship? Is it for the pastor and his family to live in luxury and eat at nice restaurants? Is the money to be used for expensive sound systems with massive speakers and paid musicians so that the church can make its joyful noise heard throughout the neighborhood and beyond? I hope you are answering no to each of these questions. The church collects funds for two main purposes namely to spread the gospel and to aid the poor. This is clearly what we see in the New Testament. The money collected most often was a collection to help the poor. Christianity is a charitable religion that cares about the social and economic struggles of the community and tries to alleviate that suffering where and when it can. Today the church is so often a place where the rich take from the poor where it should be exactly the opposite. The rich pastors should be giving to their poor congregations. We never see Jesus asking anyone for money. People did supply to him food and support, but that was not because anyone asked for it, but rather because they were grateful to him for his work. They believed he was teaching a message that others needed to hear, and so they were glad to support uh, him and his disciples. We see the same for the apostles who were sent into the world to preach the gospel. These men never pleaded for help. They just trusted in the Lord to provide and believers who saw the good they were doing supported them. I hope in the church you attend there is accountability among the leadership for the stewardship of the Lord's money. I hope the money is being used properly to support the poor, the needy, and most importantly to help promote the gospel message. When a church invests heavily into buying Bibles, gospel tracts, or any other means of sharing the gospel, then we see how they are fulfilling the Lord's desire to spread the good news. As an individual Christian, you can choose where and how you spend the money entrusted to your care. Do not feel compelled to give because others are begging for money, especially when there is some doubt about the integrity of how that money is being used. Helping to feed the poor or supporting those who spread the gospel message are always investments which please the Lord. He who oppresses the poor reproaches his maker, but he who honors him has mercy on the needy. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 31.